Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Sorry, I was gonna say Aries because initially I heard Aries, but I don't. I don't know why. I was. Like, I don't want to do Aries. I want to do Sagittarius. So. Yeah, I feel like that could be an omen. Maybe you, someone's telling you something, but you're just like, no, I don't, I'm just not, I don't want to do that. I feel like you're just going to do what you want to do. Hopefully that doesn't backfire, because I'm just like, was that divine guidance? Or, I don't know, but I'm going to do Sagittarius. So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. Um, this is going to be a love reading for you today. We're going to be seeing um how someone is feeling about you, what they're thinking or how they're viewing you, and what they want to say to you that they're currently not saying. Okay, please remember the energies in this reading can go vice versa. So just take what resonates with you, then just switch the roles, do what you've got to do and leave the rest, okay? So my beautiful um, Sagittarius, if you'd like to book a personal, all information is in the description box below, okay? So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. So the overall, oh, wait a minute. The overall energy we have for you is you say you love me, but after all that happened now, I doubt it. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, yes, I am jealous. Yes, I am possessive. Okay. Someone else just got that? Oh, who could it have been? I can't remember. Could have been Gemini. Okay. And underneath that, we do have your beauty is so unique. I don't know what it is about you that keeps pulling me towards you, but oh my. So this could be the reason that someone's very jealous and possessive over you because you're very attractive. Okay. But um, something clearly happened here because, it's, you know, someone's doubting how you feel about them. Okay, so someone feels like, you know, you know what, you tell me you love me all the time, but after what you do and what you put me through, I don't really know. So maybe somebody's jealous and possessive ways sabotage the relationship, sabotage the connection, okay? Somebody could be feeling like you are very jealous, you are very possessive, and this is why they don't, they're doubting how you feel, okay? So, you know, like I said, the energies could be vo vice versa, but the overall energy, someone is very jealous and possessive over you. They're just doubting whether or not that they can get your love back or whether or not there's still love in this connection, okay? So, obviously something happened here. There could have been an argument, a disconnect, a breakup. So, let's just see. This is for my beautiful Sagittarius. Wow, that was real quick. Okay, so we have brides. Okay, should I just reshuffle? Cause that was really quick. I feel like somebody just wanted to get something out quick. Okay, so how they feel about you as bride. So somebody feels like you are their their um wifely material. Okay, yeah, it's almost like you know you see how that just flipped out my hand. It's almost like you just like, I don't want to hear all of that. <laughs> but you know everybody's in their commitment feelings. You know since I've been doing the reading so far. So um somebody feels like you are somebody that they need to take seriously, that they need to honor, that they need to respect, that they need to devote themselves to. Okay, so somebody wants to wife you up. I'm hearing I want to wife you up. <laughs> Is that from a song? I don't know, but I heard it just like that, okay? Um, what are they thinking about or how are they viewing you at this point? Okay, so we have communication. So somebody could be anticipating some kind of communication, okay? They could also be viewing you on the phone. So maybe somebody's watching you online or you could be FaceTime or this is what somebody wants. They want to communicate. They want to talk to you. They want to FaceTime you. They want to call you, okay? Yeah, dominance. Oh, it's almost like he's saying, like, I don't know where you're going, but you best come back right here. Okay. Park your body right there, sir. Okay. I don't know where you're going, but you're not going anywhere away from me. No, no, no. Yeah, because dominance, yes, I am jealous and yes, I am possessive. So someone is very possessive over you. Yeah, endings and beginnings. Like, I don't know where the fuck you think you're going, but a reunion is coming. A reunion is happening. <laughs> Honestly. Someone's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you back. I, I kind of doubt what's going on here, but I'm going to get you back. Whatever I have to do. Oh, so someone's going to take charge. Oh, well, that's kind of sexy. Okay, sorry. Woo, I'm getting this thing over me. Goodness, guys, stop it. <laughs> I feel like you like it when someone takes control. Because maybe someone doesn't. They're not like used to doing that. And then it's like, finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Some fucking action. Good God. Okay, so, um... How would they want to say to you that they're currently not saying? Let's just let's move on, people. So we have reflection. Yeah, so somebody's been reflecting on themselves, reflecting on a situation, reflecting on their behavior. They've just been doing some self-reflection work. Maybe they want to talk about things. Yeah, memories. Okay? 
Somebody could be going over memories as well. Maybe they're looking at pictures or old conversations. They're thinking about the times they argued, the times that you were in love. They're listening to music. You know, maybe the first time they fell in love with you. But yeah, oh, we've got twin flames underneath that. And then we've got judgment and then divine masculine. Yeah. So um, someone's reminiscing. So they want to talk to you. Yeah. So like it says, you say you love me, but after all that happened, now I doubt it. So I feel like maybe somebody done something. And like I said, they're thinking about that and they're just like, you know what, I don't know if I can really get this person back, but this is somebody who I want to be with. Like, you know, I want Sagittarius, I want you to be my bride, like, or my husband, vice versa, you know. But someone knows that they're jealous, they're possessive, they're just fucking batshit crazy. I feel like everybody's just dealing with psychos these days. What is going on? Is there something in the water? Is there something in the water? Is there something in the water? Maybe somebody needs to drink some more water. Okay, so let's see, how's this person feeling about you? So they're very reminiscent right now, they're having a lot of memories. So someone is looking at their phone, they're looking at something or they're looking at you. Because, you know, she looks, I mean, this could be a mirror because it was the only thing that would make sense. But every time I see this, I think it's a phone. So we've got like two possible phones here. So someone likes to watch you. So you could have like an online account. Maybe someone's watching that or they're going over old conversations, old feedback. Like I said, old memories. Someone's got old videos, old pictures very sentimental maybe there's something that you sent this person they're going over they're reading they're looking at so how's this person feeling about you okay so we have the soulmate it says i'm perfect match true love and lesson slash blessing so someone feels like you are their true match like you are their soulmate okay they have learned a lot so they still love you how are they thinking about you or viewing you Okay, the sweetest taboo. It says forbidden love, diversity, and sexuality. So there could be something that's very different about you and this person that they want to overcome. Okay, they may also feel like you are somebody forbidden, like somebody that they, that not that they feel guilty about loving, but like they can't have. Okay, for some of you, this could be same sex, but it does not have to be. Okay, but somebody wants to embrace their sexuality or they want to embrace you. Okay, because there's something very taboo, very, um, unorthodox about you and this person this love or this situation and somebody's just like fuck it i just want to come together okay yeah the partners in crime it says fearless love us against the world and overcoming challenges exactly especially if it's the same sex thing it's just like you know what we love who we love. We love each other and fuck everybody else. It is what it is. We're in a new age now. Honestly, what other people are doing with their downstairs areas or their back pockets is nothing to do with anyone. Love who you want to love. Okay, so what do they want to say to you that they're not currently saying? The happy family. It says longevity, paradise, and family. Yeah. So this is what this person wants to say to you. That they want to have a happy family with you. That you are their paradise. That they want to create life with you. They want something to last. They want something to be stable. This person also may want to introduce you to their family as well. Okay. We have the yin-yang twins at the bottom of the deck. It says twin flames, balance, and unity. Yeah. So, I mean, these are two cards of, you know, we've got the soulmate and the twin flames here. Or the yin-yang twins, you know, my little clever words. Okay. But it's the twin flames. So, somebody feels like you are their balance. They want to unify with you. They want to connect with you. So, I feel like somebody's afraid that they have lost their chance so they definitely want to communicate how they feel okay is what i'm kind of getting sorry guys i just keep doing that because it's not fitting over my bra okay so um or somebody could be reminiscing about the times that you were together when the relationship was balanced i just feel like a lot has happened between you and this person okay but like i said somebody's jealous and possessive ways could be like the main reason for something or somebody's just very protective over you yeah so we have the nine of cups is how they feel about you so i'm hearing like i want you all to myself because the nine of cups can be quite an indulgent i don't want to say like a selfish energy but it's a greedy energy okay could be dealing with the pisces but i feel like you are somebody's wish fulfillment so somebody's wishing that you will be with them that you'll be their bride they get to marry you or that you are their soulmate or that you love them but you are everything that they want. Yeah, they're wishing to reconcile. Could be dealing with the cancer. Okay, again, they could be talking to P 
people about you, like family, sisters, okay? So what they're thinking about, we have the fool, okay? So somebody wants to kind of let themselves go, okay? I'm hearing like free up the communication, like just talk to me. They want to take a risk, they want to take a leap of faith, they want to disconnect from something and allow themselves to fall. So somebody who kind of wants to allow themselves to fall in love with you, they want to start over as well. I'm getting that somebody wants to start from the beginning. They want to start fresh, like clean slate. Okay. I also feel like someone's wondering if you have freed yourself or like I said, if, you know, if they've lost out. Somebody also could be thinking they kind of feel foolish. Yes, just I said that. We have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. The three of wisdom could be dealing with it. Um, Libra. Hmm. Okay, so what do they want to say to you that they're currently not saying? The two of passion. So it could be dealing with an Aries. So I'm hearing I choose you. Like, let's just leave things in the past. Here's the world. I want to offer you the world. I want to come towards you. I feel like somebody feels like you make good decisions. You're a very sensible person. You're a good choice. Okay. Yeah. Two of pentacles. So 22 is very significant. I feel like this person thinks about you night and day. I also feel like there's like a time difference between you and somebody else or two different perspectives. Somebody thinks about something from a dark perspective and you think something from a more light vibrational perspective. So yeah, balance. The dark and light coming together because you keep each other balanced, but it's about adapting and understanding one another. Okay, and again, if somebody was very in and out, I feel like they have balanced their mind now. Somebody doesn't want to be in and out or indecisive anymore. I feel like someone feels like you are their balance, okay? With the moon, they have deep feelings for you. So somebody wants to unify with you. They could be thinking about the breakups and the makeups, the inconsistency. But I feel like somebody wants to be consistent now because in this card, she's very consistent. She has the two pentacles in her head. She's able to balance something night and day. I also feel like someone thinks about you night and day. But something is like day and night. I feel like you and this person are like day and night. So I'm hearing opposites attract. Okay, so do I want to clarify anything? Not really. I kind of want to clarify the two. No, no, no. I don't really want to clarify anything. Let's just hear what this person has to say. It's quite short, sweet, straight to the point. My beautiful Sag. So it says, um, I cannot get enough of you. Everyone else is a bore and someone is delusional in this relationship and then date night. See, I feel like somebody, like I said at the beginning, was you dealing with the psycho? Because like I said, I feel like somebody has like, someone needs to stable their mind here, okay? They need to ground themselves because this is a two of wealth. This is earth energy. So like I said, somebody is either you're like night and day or somebody is like night and day. Okay, it's almost like they're a bit delusional. They go a bit to la la land but at the same time they can't get enough of you they find everybody else boring they love you they want to date i'm hearing like date night yeah let's talk all night till the sun comes up this is what i'm getting something about day and night maybe you talk to this person until the sun comes up well this is what you want to do okay yeah you're everything i ever wanted are you even real oh okay let's get some more information about this person let's get some more information please and thank you let's get some more information The spark between us is undeniable, okay? And temptation, you're very tempting, this person. I thought they want to talk to you. They can't get rid of this spark, this infatuation, this love, this desire, okay? Especially if someone wished for you, okay? So it says priorities, rocky and reluctance. So this is I choose them, but it was in the reverse because in, in the uprise, it's third party player, indecisiveness and disloyal, but it was in the reverse, so I feel like somebody was reluctant to say something. Yeah, because it says, you know, after all that happened, now I doubt, doubt it. So I feel like somebody wants to prioritize you. Maybe somebody's used to having groupies or a lot of attention or you're dealing with somebody that likes to play a lot of games or they just don't know what they want. But it's like, I'm dropping all of that. I kind of, I'm sure about you, but I don't know if you're sure about me because of how I made you feel with the back and forth, in and out. Okay. Because I feel like something was very reluctant and um, someone is very reluctant, but something was very rocky. So someone knows that they need to get their priorities in check. Are you trying to be a player or not? Are you trying to be serious or not? I feel like the player doesn't want to be a player no more. Now they want to be a brand. Now they want to be serious. Because nobody has time for games. 
games are for children or for games consoles. If it's not Xbox, if it's not PlayStation, if it's not Monopoly, I'm not involved. We have health at the bottom of the deck. It says healthy eating habits, nurse, doctor, exercise, and medical school. Yeah. Heal yourself. Heal your heart. You see how I was listening to the heart there? And that rainbow. We keep seeing rainbows. Rainbow, rainbow. Rainbow. So I feel like, you know, somebody needs to make some kind of promise to you or you will promise something. Somebody needs to heal their mind, heal themselves, or somebody wants to heal their connection. Somebody wants to heal their ways. Okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Underneath that, we do, you know, there is temptation at the bottom of the deck. So this could be someone who's very tempted by other people or they, they get very distracted. But I'm, I'm hearing like that's not what it is right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, <laughs> Sagittarius, we're just going to leave it there again. I, I, I have nothing else to say. Okay, I have nothing else to say. So this person, I'm just telling the player don't want to be a player no more. Okay, they want to be serious about you. You know, they want to talk to you, but they just they just don't know how you feel. So, yeah, um, but something will be healed, or at least this is what this person wants to say. So we'll just see how this goes, okay? So thank you so very much, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comment section below, or give me a thumbs up. Toodles!